What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here, man. Hope you guys are doing great. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share if you're new to the channel. But first, I just want to thank everyone for reaching out, making sure I was okay during the storm. It was nasty. It was nasty down in Tampa, but thankfully, we didn't really lose any power. Just had a lot of damage, a lot of debris that just clean up, but nothing that can't be replaced and nothing that, uh, nothing that was permanent. So, Thank you, everybody in Cowboys Nation, for wishing your boy the best. And it, it definitely was appreciated. And the hype video is coming tonight. My daughter's birthday is tomorrow, so we got a little birthday dinner tonight. So I got to get ready for that. But when I get home, get a few drinks in me. I got a lot on my mind, so we'll be dropping that hype video tonight. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And then tomorrow, Greg and I doing our usual Sunday morning thing. We're going to get you ready for this Cowboys-Lions game. It's going to be a good one. The Cowboys going to have the work cut out. Make no mistake about it. These injuries just, just you know keep piling up. So now Kendricks is going to be out. So now we're going to be down one of our linebackers. Thought maybe Deron Bland was going to be back, but I didn't think he would come back till after the bye. So I really didn't have a whole lot of hope in that. I figured you're getting too close to that bye week. Let's not push anything. Just get these guys ready to roll after the bye week for that for that run that we got to make. So Cowboys are sitting at three and two. I don't want to say that you know this isn't a must win. I think them winning last week was pretty damn important for them because going into, you know, with Detroit coming coming to AT&T, they got a high-powered offense. We're, you know, we, we're injury depleted on defense. These guys have been just playing their hearts out, and they're going to be asked to do it one more time. One more time, we're going to be asked to do it. And um, hopefully it's not too much to ask. I can't see us losing, you know, three home games in a row. I can't see us losing. That'd be four if you include – you know, the playoff, I just can't see it happening. So I think the Cowboys just got to find a way to gut it out. It's going to be all on the offense. And when you're talking about the offense, it's going to be on Dak Prescott. He's going to have to play just an elite game, minimize any turnovers. We can't get away with the stuff that we did against Phil against Pittsburgh because the, the Lions offense is just too potent. And they've got the you know two headed monster running back. They've got the receiver. They got the tight end. I mean, I, golf came off a, a perfect game. You know, last week eighteen to eighteen. So we're going to be asking a lot of our defense just to kind of hold them down a little bit, keep it keep it within striking distance. I think our offense is going to be able to put up a lot of points on on Detroit if given the opportunity. So it could end up being one of those shootouts. But you know, seeing these injuries. You know, with Kendricks out, obviously Bland not coming back. Micah Parsons, he's not going to be back. I think he'll be back after the bye week. I mean, looking at the injury report, uh, Guyton, you know, looks like he's going to be – he'll be fine. You got Hookers, uh, he was on injury report. Carson looks like he's going to be back. So that's going to help the secondary. That's going to help our secondary uh, if he can get back. He was, you know, full participant in practice the last three days of practice. So you got to think that he's going to be okay. Um, and then you're looking at, you know, Marquise Bell. So they're getting some of their defensive guys are going to be playing. So we'll, we should be okay. The injury report doesn't look too bad. The only two that I see that are 100% out are Parsons, Kendricks, and, Di and uh, excuse me, Deron Bland. So Cowboys are just going to have to gut it up. And, you know, you talk about that next man attitude and it's like, man, it, you know, it kind of wears on you, wears on you because you keep, keep asking, keep asking. You're asking guys like we to step up again. You know, you're, you, you got obviously overshown as he's becoming a superstar before our very eyes. So the Cowboys have some, some weapons on defense that can hopefully hold it down. And you're just asking them to hold it down one more week until the Calvary comes back. It's a lot to ask. And you got all these Lions fans and all these Lions they were crying about last year saying this is payback. We won that game last year, fair and square. We beat them six times in a row. You can't, you know, you can make all the excuses you want. End of the day, we won the game. I was there. There was no controversy. The controversy was them trying to get away with cheating. You know, having two guys come in and only claiming one of them eligible because if you looked at that play, I'm not going to go back over it again, but the guy was wide open because no one was covering him because he was supposed to be – he didn't check himself in as an eligible receiver, so he didn't pay no attention to him. So that ends that story, but the Cowboys got to get it. Cowboys Nation, you guys got to rise up in there. We got to make the home field advantage back at AT&T like it was when we were winning, what, 16 in a row. We've got to get everything back. So Cowboys just wanted to – drop a quick video we got a great video going tomorrow so join me greg and i 
And then, of course, that hype video is going to be coming out tonight. So stay tuned for that on Twitter and on YouTube and on Instagram and everything. And again, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe. We're going to be having a good time. But again, I really just wanted to come on because I, I didn't get a chance to really say thank you. Thank you to Cowboys Nation for keeping my family in your prayers, keeping us in your thoughts, checking in on me. I got the messages and, and definitely appreciate every single one of you guys. We're going to get this thing rolling. We're going to be all right. And tomorrow, man, just going to sit back, enjoy some football, and then we're going to get into it. Like I said, check me out tomorrow morning if you guys are up early enough. Grab your coffee. Grab your, your mimosa. Grab them Bloody Marys, whatever you do to get that day started right, and come hang out in the cave tomorrow. We'll see you. Take care. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. I need somebody. <laughs>